Hello everyone, welcome to TroubleMan.com tutorials. Uh, Fina is here and today I'm going to show you how to use the Gomez web form modules in Drupal 7. Okay, now um, Gomez web form, uh, the main, main purpose of this module is to make it easier for the web form registration and um, reservation online to pay through um, Drupal Gomez. Uh, if you need Drupal to Drupal, Drupal Commerce is the main uh, module to use it for um, e-commerce activities. All right, so let's um, get down to business. I'm going to show you how to use these modules. So we um, first thing to do, we have to turn it on the modules. So go to modules, uh, web form. So you have to download the the, the Commerce web form. Uh, first, uh, in search on Google Drupal Commerce Web Form. See that the module is here. Yep, and then you can download it from here. Okay, now I already downloaded it, so I turn it on the, the web form. You need the web form as well and the web form rules. If you use the um, trust, uh, uh, trust to download the modules, it will be uh, much easier because Trust will automatically download all the uh, dependency modules as well. So we just turn it on the, all the modules, uh, Gomez web form, web form and web form rules. So we save this one. Okay, that's, that's done. So now the first thing to do, um, we have to create a, a web form first for our registration. So uh, add contents, go to web form. So we say Drupal conference 2017. So save it. All right. So uh, here we add all the fill, all the fields for the um, for our subscription form. So first name. Alright, first name. Last name. Okay, so the uh, next thing uh, Next field is, will be um, a commerce web form field. So a commerce web form field, if you see the columns uh, of the field types, field types, there is a new field type that's added and uh, it's called commerce products, SKU. So this field type is uh, created by the commerce um, web form modules. So um, we just created say a registration fee We choose the um, commerce um, products SKU and then add it. Okay, now in here we see here um, there's a product types in here. So this it will show up all the product types you have on your Drupal um, commerce um, module. So I uh, only got one product types. Um, it's called product, that's a default product types. But say in your situation you have a, a product types, um, say call registration or conference, and inside that product types you have uh, more than one products. So if you select this um, product types, so all the products inside that product types will list out on the registration form. So, um, for us, we're going to use this one, this field called products SKU. So, if you just want uh, to show up uh, just a few products, a particular products, or just one product show up on, on your registration form, uh, you just come here and then put down the SKU and code of that product. So, um, for us, we call it ABC. I already created a product called uh, Drupal Conference. So, select this one. Uh, here, okay, multiples. That multiples will be easy for um, when you select it. Um, if you have more than one products, if you want to show up more than one products in the registration form, you can select multiple and allow the user to um, 
to choose more than one product when they subscribe uh, using your uh, subscription form. So um, the other settings here is allow the user to set a quantity. And here, uh, say you have uh, some kind of uh, registrations and you, you uh, require the, um, the user to um, um, pay more or twice or more than one so that they can just select it, um, change the, uh, the quantity they wanted. And then, yeah, that's, that's for the settings of this one. Um, height of price. So these settings all um, height zero price will be handy if you want to um, hide it all the, the, the products that has a zero price so that will be very handy to use this one or you can hide all price so all the products will list it out on your registration form without any price attached to it so we just put it back to default show all price here in this default SKU that's a default SKU you can we just put on our uh, product SKU ABC so that's um, the default SKU will automatically uh, selected the um, the products by default when the um, subs subscription form will show up so that's what uh, the default SKU uh, fields mean so that's pretty much for the um, that's all the configuration for the um, commerce web form uh, yeah so we uh, go ahead and save it component so that's done so let's view the form all right, we have a, registra a registration form here. So let's say, fill it up. So it's default, uh, automatically selected to triple contract. Uh, the price is showing up $70. All right, so let's uh, click on submit. Ta-da, so it's showing up there. The product automatically add to cart and it will show you a complete message for, uh, for your registration form here. Okay, so uh, now you can uh, view your card. You go view your card, and it was showing up. That's the products here. That's your registration here. That's for your um, all the people who um, subscribed or to do your um, conference, so they can uh, pay uh, pay for their registration fee directly here. So uh, uh, commerce work for make it easier. For the web form modules to connect with uh, uh, with the Drupal Commerce uh, functionality, uh, and here we see there's a remove button here. So this remove button, if you have more than one products uh, on your on your shopping cart, uh, that's related to the to your uh, to your um, say to your subscription pro um, uh, form. Uh, when you remove uh, either one of your products in here, it will automatically remove all the products that's related to your uh, subscription. So that's the default uh, behavior of the um, commerce web form modules. And uh, from my experience, I found out that that's uh, fine. So um, that's uh, it's it's worked beautifully with the um, requirements and. Uh, most requirements that um, you, you can't remove any uh, you, you're not going to allow the, the customer to remove uh, uh, particular registration um, type or thing from your from your from your card uh, you, most of the time you don't 99% uh, you, you not you don't want it you don't want it to happen on uh, on your on your shopping card uh, for for the user registration and subscription so yeah so let's um go to the checkout uh, yeah so that's uh from now on uh forward on this uh, bar that's the uh, standard uh, useful way of, of checkout through um uh, uh, drupal commerce checkout and then you can check out carry on the checkout go through to your payment and then pay and then it's done uh but for now, we just stop it here. We can carry on, but uh, you you can uh, test it out for your for your uh, for your own uh, learning purpose. But um, here, we just come back and I'll show you uh, other things uh, related to your commerce work form. If you come to the content, we try to view the submission that we just done. 
we just we did uh, minutes ago. So we just come there submission or oh, and that's the submission just done. So it's showing up here. So we just view it and there that's um, this is how the administrator will able to um to see all the uh, submission that um was done um for the registration um form um yeah and you can see in here it's say unpaid so because uh, we haven't checked it out completed the checkout and uh, it will show up unpaid though so there's a good way of uh, double checking your or subscription to make sure everyone is paid for their subscriptions on your form so um I think that's pretty much for the commerce uh, web form uh, folks and um, if you have any uh, question feel free to uh, contact us on our website uh, www.drupalman.com uh,